Just gonna talk a little in this video about the uh, spring major. Thought it was, I don't, I don't even know where to start with it. Um, obviously, Moist was your winner. Gonna t go ahead and look at the bracket. Spoiler alert, haha. -ha. But Moist won four, 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 16. Falcons won three. Casey won one. They went 16 and four on championship Sunday. That is absurd. Like, that is literally the best teams coming from the losers bracket with the bracket reset against just an unstoppable Falcons team. Um, if you don't know what that means, that just means Moise is an incredible team. They absolutely deserve the win. Uh, Vitira played out of his mind. Joy was awarded MVP. Uh, Rise played, I thought, the second best on the team, but he didn't get any MVP rewards. Can't win them all, whatever, but they still won. That's what matters. Uh, and actually, Joya won the overall MVP, so there was that. This page keeps constantly getting updated because it literally just ended a couple minutes ago, uh, maybe an hour ago by now. But um, yeah, Falcons, uh, Ahmad did win the offensive MVP, rightfully so. I mean, people thought it should have been Yans on Furia, and I do admit that every single game we played in, he, he, was, he probably had the most goals this uh, major, like on average, for sure. I mean, he was just solo dominating everything. Double taps, air dribble double taps. Uh, it was just, Yans was insane. So he could have won the offensive one. I think Vatira should have won overall. And honestly, defense could be awarded to like Torment. But the thing is, I think overall and defense should have been given to uh, Vatira. And offense could have been given to Yans or Ahmed. That's my opinion on the matter. Um, TRK and Ocala played incredible on both ends of the pitch. It just, they kind of crumbled in the last game, but... They didn't crumble. They, they, they hung on, but one goal games, 1-2, one, 1-2, two, one, two, zero, 3 just they, they didn't have possession as much as uh, Moist did, that's for sure. They were connecting on the passes. They were staying in the offensive zone. And Ocaled and TRK and Ahmad, they just weren't getting like the passes going, the uh, the dribbling plays as usual. They had some like air dribble bumps here and there, maybe some passes and a fake, and it would open up a goal. But that was about it in terms of gameplay. Moist just dominated them on the... Uh, on offense and that's just really what it came down to so yeah congratulations to Moise absolutely deserved so now I actually want to go ahead and look at the teams for worlds just gonna dive into this real quick in this video there's a lot of teams my goodness two four six eight eight times three 24 teams and we have eight on the top which are qualified for group stage which is g2 phase NRG, bds moist endpoint fury of falcons which are all great teams if there's one team do you think every team here belongs here? Because I think maybe Endpoint and like kind of NRG, but maybe NRG is going to pick it up this split and BDS as well from the major. My goodness. Um, but I feel like Endpoint is like a tier below these other teams in terms of uh, the group stage levels. But I want to go ahead and look at the wildcard teams as well. SSG was really close to clinching a group spot. If they had won one game or V1 won one game, they would have gone a group stage spot, but they didn't win that series. So. Uh, that's very unfortunate for them. Optic making wildcard, Dig, KC, which is a very lethal team in wildcard. I would not want to have to play them or V1 or SSG. Semper, Renegades, Pioneers, solid teams. Secret, we saw they are worth, they, they can take down anybody. I mean, it wasn't messy BDS, but they can still play well. I don't know who the club is on uh, South America, but we'll see what that's all about. Tokyo Verde, um, which is APAC, Game and Gladiators, Veloce. 0-1, which is a Middle Eastern team, actually Team Falcons, by winning the games they won on this major, got 0-1 Esports a spot, along with Orlando Pirates and Bravado Gaming, which is both from both from Sub-Saharan Africa. So, I don't know anything about those teams. It's going to be an insane world in August. Probably going to keep this video short. Um, all I really want to talk about was the results. <clears throat> and plus, uh, yeah, I mean, that's it. Sub to the channel if you're new here. Thanks. Thank you so much for 700 subscribers. Sorry for the short video today. I've just been watching RL all day and kind of just lying down chilling. So that's why I'm kind of low on energy and stuff like that. But yeah. All right. Love y'all. Like the video, comment, subscribe, whatever you want or don't. Doesn't really matter to me. Peace.